previously on Draft House. The atmosphere was dope in there. I say it's a, it was a successful turnout for us. It's a step down from cold show, because you know, you don't want to be cold. You know, I do anything like not basketball related to just get yourself in the right condition and right shape. At the end of the day, when you get done with it, you know if you work hard or not. It's a big old blessing just to come out of the 4-5. Enjoy ourselves for a little bit, just get away from basketball. From the country, so you see people lying around, you like, you won't win, so. You get mad at that bike. We stay having my ATVs all the time. It's something we enjoy, me and the guys have fun, buying ATVs or whatever. I'm going fast. <laughs> I ain't going no slow, fast. They got problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon it dummy. Cause they got problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, I solve them. I run through the money. How many guys you got, man? I got like five bars down here. Like, this part of all culture for real. Come on, hell, nothing else to do besides play sports and ride forward and stuff like that. Really, what the country is? ATVs, horses. Love for nothing. I see that we different. You ride and I double my don't do discussion. It's good to be home, especially with family, friends. Just enjoy the time all that you have. Really trying to lock in. All right, man. That's how we do out here in the country. We out. Back at the house. In my head there, just getting it twisted, the day before the draft. Yeah, it just feels me back at the crib. Been traveling all half of the summer. Um, I've had 12 workouts. Milwaukee, Chicago, Atlanta, Toronto. I don't say he was tired, but give him a little more energy back at home with the family, you know? A little love, get a little love on that road, you know, in the airports and stuff. Stay yeah. home and get a little show, get more love. I've been asking him all week, all week. JD, how you feeling? Mom. Yeah, the drive tomorrow. It actually ain't hit me yet. Can't tell you how I feel yet. I'll probably tell you tomorrow. I wake up or something like that. Uh oh. Hit the Zoom with OKC before we head out to the high school. My agent said, okay, see, you want to, you want to do a workout, but we can't fit in because I have other workouts to do, so. So we just did a Zoom call to get to know each other, I guess. I was done with the call, now it's time to head to the high school. You know, Josh, a lot of people assume that all pro athletes have personal chefs. Just like they assume you can't afford great insurance. Nice dish. For surprisingly great rates that can fit any budget, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Turnover? No. We're here at the Calhoun School, Lowndes County, Lidahatchee, Alabama, where JD has made the Calhoun School nationally known. When we had basketball trials, it was the first time I really knew who JD was. You know, I think everybody was seeing Jadarian. JD showed up that tryout. Like I said, he was just doing regular ball handling drills and whatnot, and then we did the layup drill. And once I saw him go up and how high his arm was over the rim, that's when I learned who JD was. We had the crib with it. Championship pitcher, 11th grade year. The beat me and the guys. Yep, and the guys, man. I want to work with them. Now I'm be at the banners, get ready for the year, 2019, 2020. It's your boy. <laughs> you don't see very often in, in small places like this. You know, you got a McDonald's All-American, Gatorade Player of the Year, Mr. Basketball two times. That's rare in this state. That's rare anywhere. The biggest one, you got the 2020 state championship banner. You know, we got to hang that one up right here so everyone can see it. The memory that, that pops in my head was 
between Lil Don't, I think, 10th grade year against Central Hang by Rival. And I actually, he wasn't supposed to be in the game, but we had a heckler in the crowd. And he was like, Coach, let me do something. I'm like, man, we up 20. We good. He's like, Coach, I promise you. Man, ain't never seen this before. Teammate through the outlet. I took about one and two dribbles. Got back to this black line. Took the two steps and you know, boom. I think I probably knocked Coach over because I got up and I was like, <gasps> Next thing you know, this whole whole stage cleared. Ran them, they ran on the court, that whole side of here ran on the court. It was like a party in the middle of the floor. So for me, that was the defining moment to say that he's going to be a star. And he was humble even after that. The jersey will tell you, man. <laughs> it was kind of crazy just because it's me, I got my jersey retired, and that was something I thought of. I always dreamed of it, though. To have him come from here and, and again, you know, stay loyal to Calhoun and Lee Hatchie, Alabama, you know, that was the least we could do. As soon as he's out of here, we may start to make preparations to go ahead and, you know, retire his jersey. He like a neighborhood hero, cause ain't nobody been even that close in like being white as that. Yeah, like he like you feel me, one of the chosen one, for real. I don't think about just putting on. I think about just guiding, guiding the youth to the, to let them know they also can do it. You got to go to a bigger school, so to think you got to go get exposure from somewhere you can build your own legacy at your own hometown. So that's really what I did. Built. Made my own platform, I just stayed with it, stick with it, trust God, he made it happen for me. I think he's like a, to a lot of the younger kids, a hero. Some, this may happen once every century. That's what I feel. He's definitely an anomaly. And I think that it may make kids work harder to achieve that same goal. They really look up to him, they're excited. They always wanna see what, what's the next move, what's the next thing that's going to happen as it concerns JD. With social media, everybody was able to see JD. You know, every little kid, you know, some older kids were running up to JD, you know. He's gonna be an icon around this area for a while. A whole lot of members in this gym right here. Ooh, can't even explain to you. Now it's time to go to the NBA and make some new ones. We out. be the messiest or the most fun challenge in the draft house. Hopefully you brought a soft pair of hands or at least a change of clothes. These are the rules. You toss the egg back and forth to your partner. If you're successful, you take a step back. If not, you grab another egg and try again. Once you make it to the end, you score. You drop the egg in the bowl and you move on to your next egg. The team with the most eggs in the bowl at the end wins. Y'all ready? That's good. All right, man, teams of two. Let's go. Me and JD, let's get it. Y'all ready? All right, three. Two, one, let's go. Yeah, gang. I got you. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, too hot. Oh, oh. Yes, sir. That's a good toss. Good catch. Yes, sir. Step back. I got oh. you. I got you. Agent, hold on, agent. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> no! It's a miss. Did it break? He did not catch that. Just throw it back. We good. That's oh. you. <laughs> How did that not break? How did that not break? What type of eggs have you got? Indestructible eggs. Bro, these eggs not finna break. Oh! <laughs> there you go. We good. Hey, all they gotta do is mess up once. <sighs> nah, we not gonna mess up. I got you. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that cracked. It cracked for sure. Oh! <laughs> Short! Oh! Mm. Oh! Yes, sir, baby! Oh my god! <laughs> Wrap it up. Oh, I had that in my hands, though. Not my new overtime words. <laughs> hey, GG's, man. I hope egg wash out. That's crazy. GG's, man. So, in the egg challenge, you guys got four, we got three, and we completed it mostly unscathed. Congratulations on the victory, guys. I should probably change my clothes, though. I agree with you, man. Got a little something right there. All right, but you don't have to rub it. I'm excited to be back home now. Definitely miss my high school. Be back home, South Phoenix. Gotta go say what's up to my high school coach and check the gym out.
Wi-Fi didn't come to us until like mid, I think I want to say mid junior year. And uh, our program director, Pete Caffey, like he played a huge part in that because he reached out to uh, Tata Dad and was just like, hey man, we, we, can, we can use him, man. We need a leader and we need somebody that can help change our culture. This is my senior year team right here. It's the team that won it all, a grind session. Seeing some film on me in high school, so definitely brought back some memories for sure. Uh, going undefeated, winning the Grand Session Championship. The success that he had, but also the success the school had, it just catapulted our school. Like, we actually called it the Tata Effect. I mean, you got cameras filming us all year. Docu-series is being done about our school and about our culture. I really feel like he was like a part of the building that foundation for this. We got him through here, uh, and the rest is history. Literally changed the landscape of AZ Compass basketball. We didn't have this locker room. We didn't have a Nike Elite contract. This right here I mean a lot. Not to only myself, but just to the whole program. Nobody wanted us. We play with the best of the best now. I'm really ready for the league, man. Tata Washington has it on the wing. Three. What is he gonna do? Two. One. Oh, they go wild. They go wild. We actually got a new gym floor now, so they're just happy to go to show like anything that you do for the past is for the next group of guys that come in. He give people hope, he give kids hope, man. Him making it to the NBA is, is cool, but I think he care way more about like helping people and showing people that, hey man, it, it's possible for you too if you put that work in. Sometime in the future, I want to go back and like build a park or something, you know, just where kids could go out and just, you know, have fun, play basketball, be kids again, you know, so definitely want to do something like that. Yeah, we're here at Section 7, a little summer league event for high schoolers. Pulled up to watch my brother play. The whole fam came out. Mom, dad, cousins, aunties, we all came out. I watched him play in his game today, man. He went crazy. Had double-double, 35 and 15. Can't beat that. Yeah. What's poppin' y'all? It's your boy Big Guard live in the building, man. man. I'm with a lottery pick today, man. I got Tata Washington in the building. How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great, man. You the Phoenix Sun. You know, you, you the star here. But you came to watch your little brother play. Just talk about watching him and pretty much get to your level. Seeing you know, how much of a shooter he's become. Just watching me, pretty sure I kind of paved the way for him. So he's just going out there with that killer mentality. Big guard tapped in with Tata Washington, man. Can I get a big guard? Big guard. Big guard Tata Washington, man. Section 87 was a movie. Man, we at my grandma's house. My mom's side, and my great grandma's house. So my mom's mom's mom. On the wall up here, you got the fam. My great grandfather, he passed away. But yeah, he the head. Sibling, uncles, the whole family's all right here. This little, I got way more trophies than this. But yeah, most of these just come from AAU traveling every weekend. My grandma, her favorite trophy is this one right here, the ball. That was my favorite one, so I had to go ahead and get it up to my grandma, though. Most of my memories been built back here, this whole backyard. This hoop right here, it used to face out into the grass, but me and my cousins, we used to all come back here and just have battles, so we ended up breaking and whatnot. And my grandfather, you know, he went to his little shed back there. He got a shed over there, all his tools. Put this sturdy pole down. I seen him cut that up, drill the holes in it, put the hoop on. 
At the time, like, we all mad small. So at the time, he like, go dunk it. I dunk, boom, sturdy. I'm back here, no top or nothing. I'm back here, deep range, cashing, cashing, dunking. I'm, I like this hoop. So since then, this hoop's been there, so I feel like it's gonna stay here forever. Being back here just bring all the memories, seeing his shed, lawnmower, just miss him, miss his long stories he used to tell us. The story he always tells us is these roads we driving on, he built those. So every time I'm driving, I always think of him. I'm driving on the road my grandfather built, so love that man, miss him. Something we've been doing since he was a young kid is after the games, before everybody go home, we all join and gather at Peter Piper. As you can see, we got the fam with us. He's a very good brother. He knows how to make sure we're good, straight. Our relationship is very, like a funny, goofy relationship, honest. I love our relationship. Me going through this whole draft process is a huge blessing, not only to myself, but to my family as well. My mom and dad made a bunch of sacrifices, and I know if I get blessed to get, hear my name called on June 23rd, they're both gonna be real excited. It feels amazing to see my brother actually chasing his dreams. I'm proud of him. Let's go, Top Tower. Happy to see you in the NBA draft. Next time on Draft House. Sandy Creek High School, I went there all four years. He wanted to represent where he's from. Just wanted to get it out of the mud and make it work. And I feel like it paid off. Just trim the side, the back sides down, line them up. It's just me and the family out to eat right now. Let's enjoy each other for a little minute. I don't like height. You afraid? <laughs> we out here in New York City, man. It's about 30 hours left to draft night. I'm really excited, can't wait. Yo fam, Overtime refuses to miss this year. The drops are non-stop, and we're just getting started. Get like me, and cop all the fits. All you gotta do is click the link below, and make sure you stay looking out for all our drops.